A maid sparked a mixed reaction in a popular Facebook group for foreign domestic workers FDWs after asking her fellow helpers a question. In a post on the MDW in Singapore Working Conditions Forum on Facebook, the maid who has to share a bed with their employer's dogs every night asked other FDWs if they would agree to do the same. As an FDW, will you agree to sleep with your employer's dogs? Meaning, same mattress. Pillow, blanket. She wrote her question. While some of the members of the group expressed concerns about hygiene, personal space, and cultural differences and preferred not to sleep with animals. Most, however, expressed their love for dogs and said they would be more than happy to share their bed with their employer's furry friends, considering them as part of their family. I love dogs, so no issue for me. Some employers love their dogs so much that if they allow you to sleep with their dogs, it's like allowing their kids to sleep with you, but if you're uncomfortable with it, let them know, we all have different views. We are all unique, one advised. My dog sleeps in my madam daughter's room with aircon. It's okay for me too to sleep together, with the dog Cass, I'm the one who looks after her. Another shared. Yes, I sleep together, with my dog like he is my baby. The dog is a member of the family. I love my dog, yet another wrote. I go to bed, with two dogs. I'm okay, no problem for me. I love dogs like they are my children, one helper said. I did sleep with a dog before. But after my employer left Singapore, I miss him and always cried when remembering my baby Willow. He is my son, another helper shared. The discussion continued with positive and heartwarming stories about their experiences with pets and how dogs helped them cope with the stress and challenges of working far away from home. Yes, of course, I love sleeping together with my employer's dog my stress reliever, one wrote. The comments also highlighted the cultural differences and personal preferences of FDWs and the boundaries that come with it. It raised awareness of the need for clear and fair guidelines for domestic helpers regarding care for pets in their employers' homes. You don't need opinions from others about this. If you feel like it, do so. If not, then feel free to say no. What matters most is you standing your ground. Only you can decide for yourself, another maid advised. This story serves as a reminder of the diverse perspectives and experiences of foreign domestic workers in Singapore and the need for open and respectful communication to address such matters.